Welcome back to SAP Manufactory. In today's video, we will dive into resolving common issues in SAP PPDS that often rise during the creation of plan orders or production orders as well as while scheduling them using PPDS planning board. We will discuss the goods received processing time, its representation as a handling resource and how this resolves issues in the system with the demonstration in PPDS. Let's get started. Let's start with the system demonstration. I'm in the product view, that is RRP3. Whenever we try to create a plan adder, so the system keep the plan adder in buffer. So that means we get the PPDS plan adder number, but it won't overwrite by the S4 plan adder number. So what is the reason behind of that? Uh, there may be multiple reasons, maybe core interface, setup issue or master data issue. There may be different, different issues. So what we try to do, we try to analyze from the core interface system perspective. We check all the settings, then we'll try to analyze by using the core interface monitoring transactions. And we try to understand what is the root cause for this and how to overcome this. And even if I try to convert this plan order into production or process order, the system will convert in S4, but it won't update in the PPDA system. It is a common issue if you work with the PPDS. So for that, we go with SIF comparison and reconciliation transaction, that is SAP APO CCR. If you want to know more about the CCR, there is a SIF monitoring video is available specifically for CCR. You can check that. So here we can find that Yes, there is a error available and this order is stuck in the queue and there is a error code. We try to push it, but if any backend setting is missing, then it won't get resolved. So there is another transaction that is called SAP APO CPP, that is SIF post processing. By using this SIF to post processing transaction, you can understand that what is the error, exact error. So at least in this example, the error is no handling resource in order for product. So that means no handling resource maintained in this location for this product. So how to use this CPP transaction? Again, there is a separate video available for SIF post processing that explain about how to use this CPP transaction. Now coming to here, so what is the meaning of no handling resource? So why this issue is appearing? What is the root cause for this? So for that, let me open the material master. In the material master MRP2 view, you can find it here, goods receipt to processing time. If any material maintained with the goods receipt to processing time, then system would expect to maintain the handling resource for this location. So handling resource is missing for this location. So we need to maintain it. Okay, how to maintain the handling resource? If you work with the APO system, so you might be creating the handling resource directly in APO system. But after 
migrating into S4, that is embedded PPTS. You should not be creating any master data directly in PPTS. Instead, you have to create in S4 and uh, that will get transferred through core interface. So now let's create one handling resource. So again, it is a normal work center or the resource creation transaction code. So my plant is 1710 and handling resource H. So handling resource. I given a name as HU and I can create like a normal work center. I'm just copying from the existing work center. Of course, costing is not required, so that's why. It's the handling resource. Default values, capacities, scheduling. The same fashion which we maintain it for the normal work center or the resource. Then what is the difference? The difference here is if you get into the capacity header view, you will find the APO resource. If you click here, you will see the resource type and the resource category. Keep the resource type as single activity resource and the resource category as handling unit. Saving the work center. So work center HU in plant 1710 was created. Now let's check in the PPDS. So using the transaction resource 01, this is the HU handling unit resource created in the PPDS. So the category, if you see the category, category is handling unit. And of course, all the available time, all those whatever we maintain in the S4 side, that will reflect here. So now this is how you can create the handling unit. Now handling unit is created. So now is there, is the issue resolved? No. After you create the handling unit, you need to assign it to the location. So for that, I'm using LOC3. So this is my location. If you come to resource, you can open. So this is the handling unit which we created. So I have assigned under the resource tab for inbound and outbound, saved it. Location is saved. Handling unit resource created, now it is assigned. Now let's try to push it through CCR. This is the error. Pushing to APO. Error clear. 
so let me once again execute it there is no error error is clear so that means in the product view i should have the s4 number here so for that let me open the md04 in s4 so this is my product the number is 574 and that is the plan adder number i expect that number should update it here let me refresh it 5749 now it is resolved one more issue that is very common when we try to schedule the order using the PPDS planning board. So I will load my resource, my resource is resource 01. This is my location, executing. So this is my order. I try to reschedule it. Here, error in rescheduling C logs. One more time. I'll try to drag and drop. I'm trying to keep it in this day or where I'm. Error in rescheduling C logs. Can find this no valid modes available for activity. So this is the very generic message. This is how you will end up. But why it is not able to reschedule it? The reason is handling resource. So when you try to reschedule, you should load the handling unit resource as well. So now I have loaded both handling unit and the resource So this is my order and handling resource also has order. This is nothing but a GR processing time. Now I will try to schedule it. I'm just moving few hours. Now it is more. So when you try to load or reschedule the order, you're supposed to load the handling unit resource as well in the planning board. Then only it is possible to reschedule it. Now the question, what is meant by handling resource? Handling unit is nothing but to represent the goods receipt to processing time. So what is meant by goods receipt to processing time? The goods received processing time, it represents the time record to receive the product after completing the production. Even though the production is completed by this time, but it takes this much time to make the product as available. So what we do in this time, you may perform some quality inspection or you receive, you produce this product, but you may transporting to some place and from here only the product is available for further functionalities. 
so that is how this gr processing time can be represented as a handling unit in the pbds planning board this handling resource bar how is it representing it is based on the gr processing time in days we can check the gr processing time is two days if you see here it is starting on 1st january from almost 8 o'clock onwards then second third by ending by third almost eight o'clock so that represents two days so this is how this gr processing time is directly connected with handling resource thank you for watching if you found this video useful don't forget to give it a thumbs up and a subscribe to my channel for more insights on production planning and detailed scheduling if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comment section and i will be happy to answer see you in the next video